Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Raja Skaka Singura YouTube channel. A uh, big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. Kaka has always said the only support you can give Kaka Singura is make sure that you click that subscribe button. And of course, remember to turn on your notification bell. Kaka was in Gishu County, Kumelipuka. Wakulima wa Wasinigishu County are giving us a raw deal on how the fake fertilizer looks like. Na unajua Wasinigishu ndiyo kuna wakulima wengi haswa mambo ya mahindi. Wakulima hawa katika mkutano wakiwa na Senator Choralgei wameleta gunia mkulima mmoja ameleta gunia la mahindi la la, la mbolea bush na hiyo mbolea iko na mixture of soil sand and some manure inanuka kama kinyezi ya kuku sio ni kinyezi ama ni nini eh so meaning hawa watu kaka there's something i'm beginning to understand from this fake fertilizer Wakulima wa Sinigishu wanasema kwanza kuna mchanga ndani na kuna manyua inanuka kama mavi ya kuku. Eh? Umepata hiyo? Haya. Unaweza sema ni, ni propaganda. Can we listen to the farmers from Wasinigishu what they are saying? Tuko na mchanga ndani. Kuna mawe ndani. Haya tunashindwa. Tutapata nini? Sio ni mchanga kabisa. Ni mchanga. so out of six so so wakati uliona caps ukafikiri hii ni mbolea sawa yeah. na alama ya serikali yes. na imeandikwa nini kwa yeye wa serikali unaweza soma kani hii hii yenye maandika hii kwa maana this job of gaja let's stop and let's stop the government kio gay subsidy program csp so hiyo ndio ilikupea confidence yes now let's the gentleman <laughs> Hata tusipoenda mbali wacha tu tuulizane maswali ya kiushenzi na kiujinga. <laughs> Wakulima wamesema vizuri na Cherarige amesimama hapo. And I'm happy that Cherarige was around because Cherarige ni mtu anapenda kuspew propaganda. I want to thank God because Cherarige was around. Now. Hao wakulima wamesikia vile wanasema. One the fertilizer has NPK uh, logo. It has a government seal. It has a KEBS seal. 
na iko na kila kitu and you cannot doubt it now what makes me suspicious is mbolea inanuka madhi ya kuku Kenya hii ni waulize maswali ni nani amefuga kuku ambazo zinaweza kuproduce manyua that has been distributed across the Kenyan farmers mnamjua ni nani Mufugi wa kuku mnamuelewa eh? Kenya hii mufugi kuku ni mmoja ambaye kuku zake zinaweza zalisha mbolea inaweza peanwa kwa wakulima Kenya nzima Mnamjua ni nani Nao <laughs> Wasidikishwa giving as a real deal Eh Wasichemuke yemune Wasinikishwa wanatupatia uhondo. Eh? Yeah? Wana habari tunasema uhondo. Wanatuletea mambo chizi yanavyochupuka. <laughs> mufugi kuku ni nani? Eh? Yeah? Nani mufugi? Anaweza peana magunia ya manyua ya kuku Kenya nzima. Huyo mufugi ni nani? Kama unamjua tuambiane kwa comment section. Number two. What is the motive behind this distribution of mafia ya kuku? What is the motive? I have sampled for you a few facts here. Ni nini kinaweza kuwa chanzo cha kupeana wakulima Mborea wish We know tunajua some powerful individuals in this country who are farmers we know them Tunawajua Na hawa farmers they directly compete with Wanjiku in the market Kama ni kuku wao ndio wamefuga nyingi zaidi Kama ni ngombe mliziona Facebook mahali zimefugwa Muliona mapicha ziko kama ni ngombe kama ni mahindi wao ndio wanalima zaidi mumeona mapicha vile wanatembea mashamba yao mnawajua sitaki kuwataja mumeona picha vile wanatembea katika mazizi ya mangombe zao hawa watu they directly compete kama unapeleka ngombe shambani eh, eh, sokoni na yeye yuko na yake sokoni. Kama unapeleka mahindi sokoni gorogoro kumi, na yeye ako na zake gorogoro na uza sokoni. They are directly compete with Wanjiku in the market. Mahindi wao ndio wamelima nyingi zaidi. Kuku wao ndio wamefuga nyingi zaidi. Ngombe wao ndio wamefuga nyingi zaidi. Uzuri Hivi vitu vyote nazungumzia mumeviona katika mapicha wakitembea in their farms. You know them. Now, could it be? Mbadea ya kwanza ilipopeanwa ilifanya vizuri. And we can agree. Ilifanya vizuri mazao mengi yakakuja. Gorogoro moja ya mahindi 1 tin of maize ikashuka from 250 now in Kisi is being bought at 100 shillings. Nakumbuka hawa watu wako na mahindi kwa masto kwa hivyo wakati wali support wa kulima kuzalisha they were affected kaka unajua kuna watu wengine Kenya hii kukua kwako njaa kwao ni faida kuna watu Kenya hii kukosa kwako chakula kwao ni faida kwa sababu unapokosa chakula wanakuuzia so could it be Mazao ya kwanza yalifanya vizuri yakaharibu bei ya bidhaa kwa soko ikafanya sasa wakati huu kwa haya mazao wakulima wapewe mbolea gushi wasizalishe mazao mengi ili yale yao wameweka kwa magala ya pande bei tena could it be that is the reason anyway kaka i'm over reasoning eh 
could it be I am over reasoning? Skiza. Biashara ili yaripika sokoni. Mimi nakumbuka nikinua gorogoro moja, nikifanya charity work. 250. One tin of maize. 250. Right now, it has dropped by 150 shillings. By more than a half. Munajua, hawa wakulima hawa wadosi hawa wakubwa. Pia na wao, wako na maindi nyingi kwa store. Kuditi bi walistuka kufuatia bei ya maindi sokoni. Ni kama wamestuka, wakasema, ha, kuume tulijisha penia mushare. Wamesituka. Kuume ni kama tulijichimbia kaburi. Mbona sasa hii mii mambo tumeweka hapa kwa store inaanza kubei inaanza kuharibika no wacha tushughulike na watu Eh nambari ya gushi mazao kidogo pay bande tuuze yale tumeweka kwa gara That could be the only reason why the small scale farmers or even large scale farmers who are not directly connected to government were given fake fertilizer Na hawa kulima wakubwa kama ni fertilizer mzuri kabisa it's being delivered to their farms. Kama ni ile breed nzuri ya ngombe it's directly delivered to their farms. Kama ni wale kuku wazuri they are directly delivered to the farms. Unanipata? Sasa ni sisi hawa wengine hawa wadogo tunabaki tukirambana na kupigana hapa nje. Ladies and gentlemen. Mimi wacha niwaambie ukweli na nirudie kama unafikiria kama unafikiria or if you've ever thought or if you are planning to think that a government will help you in prospering forget many governments they become powerful when its citizens become poor because one of the 48 laws of power says if you want to continue ruling them First, make them poor. Once you make them poor, they entirely begin to depend on you for provision. Once they depend on you for provision, you are able to control them. Because without you, they can't live. Make them dependent. De 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 dependent. Let them depend on you as a leader. Once they depend on you, then you can easily control them with your resources that is the same thing Kenya Kwanza is doing wakati walipeana mborea wamestuka sana kwamba other farmers are becoming too powerful in producing food tutafanya nini now clip them now kill them reduce them so that we give them food instead of them giving us food so that they continue depending on us And that is the riddle that you never understood. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.